Welcome back to the stash. 2023 was a great year for horror games. I'm looking at you, you beautiful, beautiful boys. But it's a new year, and with that comes new existential dread and horrors beyond our wildest imaginations. Now, this list won't be exhaustive. There are a metric ton of games coming out in 2024, including the indie scene, and there's no way I could cover them all. But these are some ones that I'm really, really looking forward to. So, stock up on your adult diapers, because here's 10 games that are coming out this year that are gonna make you absolutely sh** yourself. First up on the list, we have Hollow Body from Headwear Games. According to the massively successful Kickstarter, it's a third-person survival horror game with an emphasis on strong world building set in a dystopian near future. With classic survival horror gameplay inspired by early 2000s titles such as Silent Hill 2 and 3, Kuon, and Rule of Rose. So obviously count me the fuck in. It's a solo project developed by Nathan Handley, and as you can see, it looks really excellent. We play as Mika, a black market shipper. You're grounded in the exclusion zone, 20 miles of death and decay, sealed off by the towering, suffocating walls erected after the collapse. Alone, stranded, and with limited resources at your disposal, you'll have to push your way through the zone, solve environmental puzzles, manage resources, and fight for your life as you try and find a way to escape beyond the wall. Disturbing visuals, inventory management, and Blade Runner references all tie into this tight techno horror package. And you know I love some Urban Decay. A playable demo comes out first week of February with a full release later this year on Steam, so go wishlist that ASAP. Can you see him? Not yet. Banishers Ghosts of New Eden is an immersive action horror RPG from Don't Nod, the studio behind Vampyr. We assume the role of Red and Antia, a couple of banishers entrusted with the daunting task of lifting a malevolent and ominous curse on New Eden in 1695 North America. Aesthetically, I'm already digging this a lot. With a unique combat system, we'll battle spectral apparitions with a mix of fluid attacks, combining Red's rifle, sword, and firebane alongside Antia's ethereal abilities. While we discover our occult foe's origin, we'll also be entrenched in damning or absolving the residents of New Eden for their actions against one another, with our decisions heavily affecting the story we experience. This whole game is giving me heavy, heavy Bloody Baron from Witcher 3 vibes, and I'm absolutely sold on it, because... If you play Witcher 3, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It looks beautiful, and the story seems wholly original, and while it may not be the scariest game this year, I think it has the potential to be an excellent entry in the occult horror RPG style we really just don't get very often. It releases on console and PC February 13th, and I'll absolutely be playing this one. Next up, we have By Sweet Carol. Now, I know what you're thinking. What in the dark, lost media Disney shit is this? But hear me out. I think this is going to be an incredible game. It comes from the mind of Chris Darrell, who you may know as the creator of a little pants soiling game called Remothered. Do I have your attention? Set in the early 1900s, young Lana Benton, guest of the eerie Bunny Hall Orphanage, is the only one to suspect that her best friend Carol didn't just run away. 
the secret correspondence between Carol and a mysterious French pushes Lana to investigate enough to find herself surviving, poised between the real world and the fantastic kingdom of Corolla that under the cruel influence of some vile villain types is perishing. The game is clearly warping the nostalgia of old Disney movies and Lewis Carroll's Wonderland imagery into a stylist package designed to lull us into comfort and then genuinely disturb us. Gameplay will definitely hit for fans of titles like Clock Tower and the old Windows 95 point and click days. And honestly, these hand-drawn graphics are stunning. I have never seen a horror title like this. No exact release date yet, but devs say later this year, so wishlist it and let's hope we don't have to wait too long. Well, my friends, if you have a healthy fear of the ocean, I'm about to fuck your day up. And, and no, it's not Subnautica 3 updates, I wish. But this might still scratch that itch. Still Wakes the Deep is a narrative horror game slated for release early this year from developers Secret Mode and The Chinese Room, who coincidentally are also developing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 that's supposed to release this year. December 1975, disaster strikes the Bira D oil rig off the coast of Scotland. You must navigate the collapsing rig to save your crew from the otherworldly horror on the edge of all logic and reality. I'm smelling some Lovecraftian old god in the ocean with this one and you all know I love some cosmic horror. Not much for gameplay release yet, but the Chinese room is a good studio and the oil rig is definitely a unique setting and gives me the feeling of desperate isolation. Really looking forward to getting my brain scrambled by this one. We should see it early this year on console and PC. You are no man of God. You are an abomination a filth. Why are you back, Isaac? I'm looking for someone. It's amazing what indie devs can do now with engines like Unreal becoming easier to build on, and this game is no exception. I caught the alpha build trailer last year and have been keeping a close eye on Delusional Studios' debut game ever since. Wronged Us is an open world survival game set in the fictional town of Lowell. Our protagonist Isaac is grappling with the loss of his only son when he hears rumors of the sightings of his child in his old hometown, he returns. But when he does, he finds the town and its people have become warped by some unknown corruption. Its sole developer touts an immersive open world with zero quest markers and limited resources, and he says the game's enemies are based around a Dark Souls design style. Not totally sure what that means, as I don't see any dodge rolling, so I'm assuming this isn't a Souls-like. Sorry, Iron Pineapple. But I'm gonna assume it's high difficulty, and with visuals and atmosphere like this, I'm willing to go on a little faith. The dev has clearly been busting his ass for three years, so I'm willing to spend some of my 2024 finding out what's corrupting LOL. It's supposedly coming to consoles and PC later this year. Killer clowns? Like, from outer space? Fans of asymmetrical horror like Dead by Daylight and Texas Chainsaw Massacre can rejoice. We're finally going to get that long-awaited Killer Clowns from Outer Space game that was revealed some time ago. Gamescon 2023 gave us our final gameplay reveal, and honestly, this game looks great. 
The music and aesthetic are incredibly on point with the movie's original 80s B-movie charm really shining through. Plan your own alien invasion and harvest humans as the iconic killer clowns, or gather a team of survivors to fight the extraterrestrial threat. This game isn't going to give you nightmares and make you question your reality, but I imagine the 3v7 combat experience of trying to survive against these bozos will leave your blood pumping. This game is created by Ilphonic, who you might know from the Friday the 13th the game, and they're no stranger to this style, so you can bet they've worked out the kinks of their past experience and it's going to be nice and polished. Hopefully. I probably won't put massive hours into this, but I'll definitely be hopping on to experience some of the bonkers nostalgic 80s camp and gore. It's slated for release on consoles and PC early this year. Don't say his name. He can hear you. He's always listening. Oh man, we have really been waiting for this one. Alone in the dark, fans, it's finally our time. We all watched as Resident Evil got remakes for GameCube and then Next Gen these past few years and Silent Hill remake rumors turn into realities and it was high time they bring this classic southern gothic survival horror masterpiece to modern audiences. And goddamn, does it look great. And while it's not an exact recreation of the original game, I think the devs are cooking up something spectacular that'll do the original justice while giving new fans an incredible experience. You'll be able to play as two different characters, one being the iconic Carnby as they return to Dersetto Plantation in search of Emily Harwood's missing uncle. If you like hardened noir detectives, occult mysteries, horrific cosmic revelations, and the sweat-soaked atmosphere of southern horror, this is going to be an absolute must-buy. Alone in the Dark pioneered a lot of what we consider survival horror, and if you've never played the originals, devs assure us that it doesn't matter. You can go in blind and still have a terrifying time. It comes out March 20th this year on consoles and PC. Twenty Twenty Three introduced us to body cam horror, emphasizing realism in a way we just hadn't seen before, and Paranormal Tales promises to deliver that realism combined with an episodic horror anthology that'll be making therapists a lot of money this year. It's a next-gen horror game based on found footage built in Unreal Engine 5. You experience and play through each tragic tale of those who went missing from the viewpoint of body cams, phones, and VHS cameras. Do you have what it takes to play through the end of the footage? This gameplay teaser made crazy waves last year, and I'm sure you can see why. There are shots that quite literally look like actual video footage. Now, it could fall into the trap of jump scare walking sim, but honestly, with footage like this, I'm willing to hedge my bets and see what the developer Digital Cyber Cherries has in store for me. It's slated for release on PC this year. Could she really be here, waiting for me? If you're new to my channel, welcome. But if you've been around for a minute, you know I'm a massive Silent Hill fan. And honestly, even if you are new, you probably could have guessed a guy with a horror YouTube channel would be a Silent Hill fan. So, you already know, the remake of Silent Hill 2 was gonna be on this list. I am absolutely stoked. I even made a whole video on it and my thoughts on the other new Silent Hill titles that are coming soon, which I'll link above. I know people's opinions on Bloober Team are polarizing, but this remake has the blessing of a lot of the OG team silent, some of which are consulting, and from what I've seen, it looks great. 
but if you want to nerd out on Silent Hill with me, go check out my other video. This remake doesn't have an exact release date, but it's slated for this year and all signs point to a spring release. Here's hoping they remake that secret Shiba ending, otherwise we riot. Announced back in 2021, Slitterhead is a survival horror game by Siren and Silent Hill creator Keiichiro Toyama, making his debut game with his new company Boca Game Studio. And this game looks fucking unhinged. The Slitterhead reveal trailer shows a big city being overwhelmed by hideous, grotesque parasites as they erupt from the inside and take control of their host. Aesthetically, it's very reminiscent of the anime Parasite, the, the Thing, or the very, very niche Tokyo Gore Police. I honestly don't blame you if you haven't seen that one. Recently, we got a glimpse of how combat will function, seemingly balancing fast-paced action elements like the DMC series, and we also recently got footage of a playable dog. I don't know, man, this shit looks insane. In terms of the story, Boka has stayed very tight-lipped, but anything that unites Akira Yamaoka and Toyama back together is going to have a seriously layered narrative. And two months ago, a possible Junji Ito collaboration was teased via Twitter X. I mean, chill out, guys. I'd say this one is obviously going to be quite hack and slash heavy given the footage we have, but also given how disturbing the character designs are and all the creators past work, I'd say we're looking at the makings of a horror masterwork here, and it's definitely one of my most anticipated titles this year in general. Unfortunately, no exact release date yet, but generally 2024, so let's just pray to whatever gods we believe in that we see this one before Halloween. Well, what do you think? Are you stoked for these 10 horror games? What other horror titles that are coming out this year are you excited about? With what we know is coming out from these big AAA studios and what we've come to expect from this indie scene, I can firmly say 2024 is gonna be an excellent year for horror. And if you've got some good recommendations I didn't cover, let me know in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, be sure to like this video and sub to the channel and see what other creepy shit we got on there. Until next time, my friends, stay spooky and I'll see you real soon.